In this video, I will be explaining the process of dilution. So we will be talking about dilution of solutions. Well, when you dilute something, you are preparing a solution with a lower concentration. So diluting lower concentration. So this means that you usually have a lower molarity, which is a unit of concentration. So there's a formula for the dilution of a solution, of two solutions actually. So we'll call the the formula is C1 V1 equals C2 times V2. And actually let me erase all of this to, to explain all of the factors. So C1 times V1 is equal to C2 times V2. And well we know C represents the concentration. And V the volume. And so we have two solutions. So we have we need to have two concentrations and two volumes. That's why we have a C1, C2, C V1, V2. And we usually call the C1 and V1 the stock solution. It's the stock solution. Which is what we start what like the, the the solution at the beginning so this is beginning so you will know that the stock solution will have a higher concentration because it hasn't been diluted yet so now let's use this in practice let me erase this to just leave the formula there Okay, so the problem says contact contact lens rinsing solution has an sodium uh, sodium chloride concentration of 0 0.15 molar. If you wish to make 800 milliliters of this solution from a 6 molar stock solution, what volume of stock solution is needed? So let's write our data. So the first thing we have to notice is that they're asking for the volume of the stock solution, and as I said, as I stated, the the stock solution is usually the beginning. So they're asking for volume 1. And they told us that the concentration of the stock solution is 6 molar. So C1 is 6 molar, which is moles over liters. They also told us that we want, we wish to make 800 milliliters of a solution. So we want to dilute this, this solution into a solution of volume 2 of 800 milliliters. And finally, they told us at the beginning of the problem that the concentration of, of the contact lens rinsing solution is 0 0.15 molar. So that is the concentration of the diluted solution. So this is C2, 0 0.15 molar. Now, just using this formula, we have all the data we needed. We can simply solve for V1. So by solving, we know that V1 will be C2 times V2 over C1. So just plug in the numbers. Um, so 800 milliliters is the volume 2, and C2 is 0 0.15 molar. C1 is 6 molar. So the molars will go with the molars and we'll get our result in milliliters. So we get 20 milliliters as our new as as, as the volume of the stock solution. If you want if you wanted this in, in liters, you can simply multiply it by the sorry, divide it by a thousand and you will get the, the volume in liters. So always make sure that, that your units are right. In this case, I, I left everything. I, I, I left this in milliliters because it didn't really matter, 
and the mowers would go with the mowers, so that would, that would just give you the the answer in millimeters. I didn't, and they didn't ask for it in, in any specific unit. So always make sure that your units are right.